Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different from my other videos. Um, I just got home from work. I just had a very uncomfortable conversation with one of the, my male coworkers. Many of you guys know already, but I do work in corporate and corporate America is a little different for women than it is for any male. I just feel that there is this inequality that is constantly apparent and everyone is aware but nobody addresses it because it's just the way that things are but anyways long story short this one male comes today and tells me me out of all the females that he works with that he doesn't understand how someone like me can afford the things that i afford and i said what do you mean someone like me? So, well, you know, you're a single mom. How can you afford all the things that you have? And I, it was, it was so upsetting to me. Like, I, I just didn't want to just go off on him. Instead, this is how I'm going to slap him on the face. I, today's video is dedicated to every single mother out there that does what I do and is able to provide not only for her, but for her child or children. So today's video, we're going to talk about finances. Roll that tape. If you see me um, looking down, it's because I'm taking a look at some notes that I was just writing as I was driving. And all I'm thinking right now is like, how dare he? How dare he have even an opinion on how I do things? Whatever I do, I do for me and I do for my child. How dare he? But anyways, I had in the past, I had already, I made like one video about finances. Um, I know finances are very personal to people and not everyone is pretty comfortable speaking about them. But in that video, if I remember, I'm gonna link it down in the description down below, so please check it. But you know what, before I go and I say anything else, I have to say, this video is not intended to give anyone that's gonna watch it any financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I am not telling you what to do with your money. People do whatever they want with their money. So I'm just sharing this so that if you are a female and you are a single mom, you can also stick it to someone that thinks that because you're a female and a single mom, you cannot afford good things in life. So we're gonna stick it together to all these people that think that way. So please like that video. Just press that like button in that, in the, under there, just press the like button and please share so that every single mom or female that's watching this video right now can do the same thing that I did so that you can stick it to <laughs> I'm so bad, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. Anyways, if you see me looking down, because I made some notes, I was upset setting up um, to make this video. Anyway, so I made a video about finances and in that video, I mentioned that I have no debt I don't owe any money, my car is already paid off, and you know, it's just a matter of being consistent with your money and having a plan for every dollar that you make, okay? I have never been someone that would, if I couldn't afford something, I am not one to have a credit card to purchase it, or I don't own credit cards, I, all my debt has been paid off. It, ha it wasn't like that all the time, but, at a very young age, I learned how to manage my money and how to do things for myself so that I didn't have to depend on a man or anyone to afford me the things that I like. Anyways, having said that, when I was about 16 or 17, that's when I started being very conscious about my money, what I did with it, my savings, how to make my money make money. <laughs> and I always had that frame of mind. I was like, I, I was never one to have money like sit in a bank account only because the percentages that they pay you for having your own money in a bank account is just like pennies. So I was not about to do all that. So I learned how to 
play with the stock market. Um, I bought stocks, you know, in places. I remember even when Facebook became like a public share, I invested on Facebook. <laughs> and I was like, and it was really young. I was probably like, I don't know. But whatever, I invested. I learned how to make my money make money. I was not about to let my money just sit in a bank account because it was just not me. I was not going to do it and I never did it. I did have CDs, but the reason why I would have CDs is so that I didn't have access to my money, right? So I would lock my money up, even though I was just making pennies, I would lock it up so that I didn't have access to my own money, so that if I needed to have money, I had to go through the process that they had for me to get my money. And it would be usually two to three business days for me to whatever transaction I made, you know. So I did that purposely. Another thing that I did, I remember I never carried my debit card, like ever. I would go to the bank, I would pay things cash so that I could force myself to go to the bank and get money. So I didn't carry my, it's very easy to just swipe your card, but if I had to force my, if I forced myself to go to the bank every single time I needed money, then, you know, think about it twice. I would go to the bank and I would just take the money that I knew I was gonna use. So if I needed money for groceries or to pay a bill or whatever, I will plan it that way. I will take that money out and that was it. I will pay cash. I would never use my debit card. I never owned any credit card because you know those percentages, they just it's just a business. You know, they're making money with your money. So why would I pay such high interest on borrowed money? So I was never a fan of that. So the more that I play with stocks, I became like a, they call it a, a day trader. Whenever there was, I made money in any of my stocks, I would take the money that I had already invested. Let's say I'm making it up. If I put, if I would shares at $10 and I sold for, uh, I don't know, I'm making it up $20. So I had already doubled what I had invested. So what I would do, I would take that initial investment out and I will let the money that I had already made with that investment work for me. Get it? I never let my money sit on a bank account. So I would just move money, I would go, and if I saw any stock, like a new like a new company, like when Facebook came public, like the point that I'm trying to make is that I didn't want to have my money sit in a bank account because it wasn't making me money. Having stocks in the stock market was making me money. So I kept doing it and I kept buying and here we are. So now, with that money, I was able to pay my car loan. I was able to pay um, my student loans. I was able to afford all the vacations that I go to. I was able to buy my kid nice things, send him to private schools do things with that money. Why? It's my money. I'm making that money and I don't understand how hard is it for a male to think that a female, a single mom, can do that. Anyone can. Anyone can. Now, as of late, I have been playing with cryptocurrencies and I'll explain to you what that is. These are, in in a nutshell, crypto it, cryptocurrencies are like digital money. They're digital assets, right? You buy into it for profit. You sell for profit. We all know how 2020 went. It was very sad. It was, people, you know, I was wanting to like, oh my God, what's going to happen? And as a single mom, I worried. And I was like, oh my God. So I was, you know, there was not a lot of trading and, and there, was like, there was like a lot of, it was a lot going on. So, and as a single mom, I was oh my God, what if we get sick or I lose my job. I wasn't too worried about the finances because I had already, you know, made money so that God forbid I was out of a job or something happened that was able to afford me and my son to continue our regular life. I've always wanted to have consistency when it came to my son. Like I didn't want to have to change anything in his life we had just moved from one state to another and now you know everything is new and now we have this pandemic and the world is closed and oh my god what happened so i started to focus more in digital 
currencies and I learned a lot more and how it, now with the stock market just know this with the stock market you know it's only it's open Monday to Friday and it closes right at the end of the day it just closes and a digital cryptocurrency you can share 24 7 so I started doing that and I learned so much and then I started to invest in cryptocurrencies <laughs> so this is what i did i you know i there was not a lot going on but you know videos and stuff so i started watching videos just to see so i had a lot of time in my hands and i started learning about this digital asset word and i was like okay it works for me because i can trade 24 7. so i learned about this coin that had just been developing and it wasn't that expensive and I said you know and I you know I would read people on reddit were saying things about it and, and and there was like a lot and then my friends that live in Miami they were all trading this coin I said like, why you know it was very accessible to everyone um, not that expensive because I don't know if you've heard of Bitcoin so I'm going to concentrate and give you information on the coin that I have invested on and it's called Dogecoin it's a coin it's a digital asset that has value when it first it first started as a meme um, but it quickly got the attention of billionaires and the more that I learned about it, the more that I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. So I invested, I'm still shocked. And when I first started investing in Dogecoin, I bought, when I first bought, it was like 23 cents per share, right? Um, And then what I'm going to tell you, I mean, you could do, again, I'm not giving you advice, but I will say you need to do your own research and you never want to invest money that you cannot afford to lose. That's number one. So I had a couple of, you know, a couple of hundred dollars and I invested. And with that little investment, my money was growing so fast, even faster than the money that I had been playing with, with the stocks. In the stock market and I, I was like wait whoa, what's going on here like why what's the value why you know I saw it when I first started playing with that investment I remember I bought shares for like 18 cents per share and when I <laughs> when I saw that money grow like it just start, like it started it had almost no value back in January it had no value and then it just started having all this value and then all of a sudden there was all this money to be made and I, with my little investment, not only did I double my investment, but when I took out the money that I had invested on that money, the money that I left in there grew more money. And I was like, why is it so easy for me to make so much money so quickly, right? I was like, okay. And at first I was a little skeptical because I was like, I've never, this is a new concept to me. I have never played with digital assets I have never done this before but why you know the more that I learned the more that I started to invest on that and I had already taken out the money that I put into it so I remember there is this um, billionaire Elon Musk every time this man tweets about the coin the prices just go up every single time so everyone is very you know in reddit and, and, and all these articles and in youtube people are just like whoa every time he makes a tweet every time he posts something it's almost as if he wants everyone it's, it's almost like he's just giving a gift like here you go here you go single mom you can make money doing this and you know i'm still learning i'm new i'm still new because i started back in at the end of february that's when i started I don't know how many of you guys deal with Dogecoin, but it makes you money. It makes you money. So for this idiot 
that asks me, how can I afford the things that I can buy for me and my son as a woman and a single mom? That is how I invest my money and I make my money make money. Okay, so this is how I did it. I use Robinhood and I use Coinbase. Okay, so I'm just going to link this down below so that you guys have access to that. And what you do, you set up your account, whatever, um, and you're going to watch the price. Like right now, let's see. At this very moment, dollar is 30 cents, okay? I'm waiting for it to drop a little more so that I can buy more <laughs> and put it in there because you know i feel sometimes when it drops it's like almost as if i'm buying a share on sale and that's what i do so i wait for it to drop and i just add more coins to it so go ahead and and set up your account again this is not i'm not telling you i'm telling you what i did it's very user friendly so go right ahead if you want to i'm gonna leave the link down below so that you can set up your account so you know my money is already making me money and whenever there is a when it drops <laughs> the price drops i just feel that i just keep getting more it feels like i'm buying that on sale and i love it to answer this idiot's stupid question and if you're watching this video you can go stick it to yourself i i play with stocks and i make my money make me money and now that I got into this digital currency thing and I'm learning, I'm going to keep learning and I'm going to keep making money so that I can afford the life that I can afford for me and my child as a woman and as a single mother. In this video, I didn't want to go into a lot of depth um, and details about my training. What I wanted to say is that as a mom, as a woman and a single mother, there's a lot of things that we can do, right? And we cannot allow anyone especially an ignorant male to diminish the potential that we have we can learn we can continue to grow and we can continue to provide for our children and for our families even if you're not a single mother what if you're just a woman that you're trying to help your husband out? what like, what if I don't know and in this digital world why not get down with times and why not learn more about that, you know, because whether we like it or not, that's where we're headed. This world, like the internet and all this digital everything is just going to take over the world. And here I am to be part of it. So, um, again, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below. There is a, a video that I watched. It's very long. It's two hours long, but it's extremely informative. So I'm going to link that video down below as well. I guess I just wanted to make this video to just empower women to do the best that they can okay if you're not into investing maybe you're into something else maybe you can do i don't know whatever it is but whatever you whatever you choose to do and you have the potential to do it go right ahead and do it don't do not allow anyone to tell you otherwise okay i'm very familiar with the stock market and i can invest and i've done this for a while and now this whole digital cryptocurrencies is a new thing for me but I'm still learning and I want to do better for me and I want to do better for my son so that when some stupid guy comes and tells me well as a single mom how can you afford all that well this is how I learn and I keep learning and I keep investing and I become good at it that's how I don't let my money sit I make my money work for me so if you found any value on this video please share this with any of your friends and if you want i could give you updates on how i'm doing maybe, maybe i could just make this a financial friday kind of thing so that every friday i just come up here and i talk more about it so that what as so that you guys learn as i'm learning so let me know in the comments down below are you guys traders do you trade cryptos like what do you are you aware that this even existed <laughs> No, but please let me know in the comments down below so that if anyone ever tells you that you cannot do something that you are able to do stick it to them and let them know listen I can do it and I can do better than you All right. so if that guy is watching this video you can go so I'm gonna cut this video right here right now I will continue to update you guys in the things that I learned and please like this video because whenever you press that like button you, the youtube algorithm 
makes this video visible for people that might be interested in this so please hit that like button leave me a comment let's have a conversation and if you have found this video to be there in any way useful please hit that like button so i thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye